Okay, question three. The subsets PT of R to the R are given by PT equals all those functions from R to R such that f of t plus t equals f of t for all t and r. Okay, so it's functions that are periodic with a period of t. Given the elements of p2 pi, so that's going to be p2 pi is all those functions such that f of t plus 2 pi equals f of t. Okay, for all t in R. It's implicit. Uh, so function that's 2 pi periodic, so sine is such a function. So 3.1 we can say sine. Oops. Yeah. Is P2 pi a subspace? If you add functions that are 2 pi periodic to each other, we, do you get another function 2 pi periodic? Yes. If you multiply, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got to prove it's closing linear combinations. It is going to be proven linear combinations, and it also has a zero vector in it, which of course it does. Yeah, the zero function is 2 pi periodic. Okay, um, so 3.2. So 0 times t plus 0 of t plus 2 pi equals 0, which equals 0 of t. So And so that means that um, 0 is in P2 pi. And now linear combinations, close on linear combinations. So we take F and G in P2 pi. Now we want to look at AF plus bg um, at t plus 2 pi. Well, it equals af at t plus 2 pi plus bf, bg, sorry, bg at t plus 2 pi. But since f and g are in p2 pi, so they're 2 pi periodic, then we have aft plus, B, plus bg T. Um, okay. And that can be written as AF plus BG of T. So, in other words, that implies F and G in P2P implies AF plus BG in P2P. Um, and then this thing below it is the explanation of why that is. Okay. Uh, that's all, right? That, that prove it's a, a subspace? Yes. Oh, so all of this shows that P2 pi is subspace. Okay, so that was all we had to do for that question, 3.2. Yes. 3.3. Are there elements in P2 pi that are not in P4 pi? So do you, are there things that... Are there things that satisfy this that don't satisfy that don't satisfy that? No, because that you have that, then you have it's like that. Four pi is two pi plus two pi. So then you could say, oh, that's equal to f of t plus two pi. Oh, but that's equal to f of t. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, P2 pi is completely is a subset of P4 pi. Everything in P2 pi is in, is in P4 pi. So, no, everything in P2 pi is in P4 pi. Why? Because uh, we've uh, because if if we have f in P2 pi, right? That implies that f of t plus 4 pi, which equals, ah, I look this, um, look, f of t plus 4 pi equals f of t 
plus 2 pi plus 2 pi, which then can equal f of t plus 2 pi if f is in p2 pi, uh, which can then equal f of t if f is in p2 pi, right? Each time you take away a 2 pi. Okay. So that shows that if f is in p2 pi, then it's in p4 pi. Okay. Uh, so that's that. That's all we have to do for that question, is it? Yes.